Hey, this is Coach Leon Hines from Shaw High School, and you are watching Ohio Sports Net. I'm Coach K, everybody calls me that, Mentor High School, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. Hi, I'm Justin Fritz. I play for Mentor Basketball, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. How you doing? My name is Cordell Smith from Shaw High School, and you are watching Ohio Sports Net. Athletically, Shaw could keep up with you today. Were you getting a little worried during the first quarter when they were raining some threes? No, I really wasn't. Um, you know, I have faith in my guys that you know whatever that happens, they, they can make as many shots as they want. And I have faith that my guys are going to come back and the same. Second quarter, you guys jumped on them, 19 to three run. The press really got you going. Uh, we talked about it before the game. You know, get on a run, 20 to two run. We needed a couple, couple of those runs. Uh, we knew that coming into the game, and uh, luckily we got that. You touched on the runs. That's just something you guys always pride yourself on, right? Did you, did you notice Shaw maybe getting a little frustrated there too? Yeah, I could tell they were getting a little frustrated there, throwing the ball around a little bit, making uh, uncharac uncharacteristic passes. And uh, we, I think we smelled that, we jumped on it. How about just, a, it looked like the game was a little chippy, a little physical there. Is this one of the first ones you guys experienced in a while? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, we know we're going to. Uh, we're going to see that going down the road, so I think it was good to see that now. I mean, um, six what kind of testament is it to you guys? They come out and hit six of their first seven threes. They're right there 25-25 the end of the first quarter, and really you guys dominate the rest of the game. Yeah, I mean, they were definitely hitting their threes in the beginning of the game. Um, but, you know, there's nothing we could, we could do about that except, you know, get, get in their face a little bit more. But uh, I think as the game wore on, you know, they started to play a little more off on the threes. And, uh, I think we had, I heard someone say we had 25 turnovers, which is... Uh, I don't know, I can't remember the last time we ever had that many turnovers. And uh, it's kind of embarrassing. First quarter, you guys came out guns blazing, palming the threes right there with them. Is that your game plan coming in? Uh, yeah, we know Men is a tough team. You know, we came out, you know, got to play hard. Coach Hines always told us to play strong. You know, them guys are going to come out and play hard, so we have to come out and give it our all. Seemed like the only thing that stopped you was that first quarter buzzer. How about their press? That seems like that's what opened the game up. <laughs> uh, you know, just look. 
the middle was open, so we took advantage of that and tried to make it work. When you, when you guys fell behind that 19 to three run in the second quarter with the turnovers, what was going through your mind? Uh, <laughs> we got to come out and play hard. Like we know them guys are tough, so we got to come out even tougher. So that's all. Did you feel like you feeling it tonight with over 40 points? Yeah, I feel good. <laughs> I feel very good. Overall, what's your impression of Menard? How far do you think they can go? Uh, I think they can go pretty far. You know, they a good team. They hustle. And they should go far. You guys usually doing that first half. They had six of their first seven three pointers. Yeah, I, I think they hit five in a row. Yeah. And they didn't have any in the second, which you know, I thought, well, we want to wear every team that Right. And I thought, you know, our depth really helped us out. Um, Justin naturally, I think he had a great shooting percentage the first half. And that's what you want from your you know, key player. And I thought he did really well. Um, we were one for 12 from the rest of the team in the first half. So, I mean, we, had, we didn't play a good game. I mean, I thought Shaw was more aggressive than us. Um, we didn't shoot real well other than Justin. Missed a ton of layups. Um, and just didn't play with intelligence. So, to get out of here with the win and, and playing not a good basketball game, I think, bodes well for us. Coach, in that 19-3 run in the early second quarter when the press was clicking, is that, that the best you've seen the press all year? It, it's, I mean, that's what we, that's our philosophy, that's what we want to do. On the board, one of the first things, we said we wanted two runs, I actually put up 18-4, 18-2 in that, you know, category. And I said if we get the two runs each half, I think we'll be in good shape. But, you know, it's just the in-between, the weak stuff that um, we've got to clean up. Overall, were you worried there in the first quarter when they were raining those threes? I was, but when they hit five in a row and six out of seven, we're just, you think that, you know, the odds are going to be with you. Um, and they didn't hit a three in the second. But um, you never want it that close, and, and the worry was there. But you don't want to be tested also. And I thought that we were tested, especially in the first, you know, 10, 11 minutes. So, um, like I said, yeah, from a coaching standpoint, not a great game. But from a standpoint that you can learn some things, and get a lot out of this game. I think that did it for us. Coach, the first quarter, you guys, you were possessed there. From the three-point line, you were right there in the game. What, what did you think going into uh, the second well, quarter? In the second quarter, I knew that they'd come out with their pressure. I was hoping my guys would hold on the line. But their pressure is excellent. They know how to get up and get that ball. We were trying to make sure that we didn't get forced in the corners. They did a great job of pushing us in. They made their will <laughs> get it done. So that's really where we fell apart at. What was it about the pressure? It seemed like you guys, you combated it in the first quarter. You made a couple of timely timeouts, too, to, to beat it. Kept you in the game, but the second quarter, just it went all their way. I, I really think it was just a lapse of, of our, our thinking ability. I don't want to say intellect or anything else, but their will just overpowered our will. They just kept on coming at it. You know, Prince Ansick and his kids, they just keep coming at you, keep coming at you. And if he doesn't like that first five, he's bringing another five at you. And if he don't like that five, he's bringing another five. So it's just a constant pressure. And we're a small club. We got wore down. No doubt about it. How about your boys and their shooting ability, though? You even came, made it a little interesting in the end there. Oh, there's no doubt. No doubt. That's what we do. We put the ball up in the air. Cordell and Corey, we call them uh, lightning and thunder. They put the ball up and they get it done. Uh, we just didn't have enough. We just didn't have enough. What's your overall impression of Menard and how far you think they can go? I think Crooks for Grants, again, the kids really play hard. They really are a very fundamentally sound basketball club. I would very be very surprised if they don't reach the regional finals. Very surprised.